Hello everyone and welcome back to your favorite web series, Urban Wildlife, the web series dedicated to teaching you more about the critters that crawl through your backyard. Today's episode, we are going to be going back to the insect world. Do you have a guess of what it is? Any clues? If you guessed the wheel bug, you would be correct. The wheel bug, also known as the assassin bug, and you may be saying, why is it called the assassin bug? Well, we're going to get into it. But first, let's practice saying our scientific names. Remember, a scientific name is made up of two parts. First, your genus, and then your species. So here we have our genus of Arillus, and then our species of Cristatus. And again, with scientific names, they're in Latin, so just say them as confidently as you can. This bug is part of the Reduvidae family. If you see the I-D-A-E, that's usually the family name that says, hey, this is a family. So, let's get into why are they called the assassin bug. Well, as you can see, this insect has a really long proboscis. It is currently in something, which might give you a hint of why it's called an assassin bug. Now, whenever an assassin bug or wheel bug is taking down its prey, it's going to pin down that prey item shove its proboscis through its exoskeleton, inject salivary fluids, and then slurp out the inside. Pretty intense. It's like a vampire, but only cooler. Now, since we've said these guys are predators, what do they prey upon? They prey upon lots of different insects. Caterpillars and beetles are some of their favorites. This one right here has a Japanese garden beetle and is making short work of it, but they will also show cannibalistic tendencies and eat other wheel bugs. These guys are usually solitary creatures, which means they're gonna hang out by themselves. Now, wheel bugs can be found from the eastern side of the United States through a little bit of the Midwest. Usually their range ends in Kansas. It might in extend into Colorado, but it's also going to extend up into Canada and down into Mexico. Now we said that these are predatory creatures, so they're going to live where they can catch food. That could be fruit trees, locust trees, bushes, sunflowers, goldenrod, wherever you're going to see other types of bugs, they're going to be there because they want a nice snack. Now, their life cycle. So the mating starts in August and with this species we see that the males are actually smaller than the females. The female will lay her eggs and then die shortly after. That's a pretty common thing in the insect world. Insects usually don't have a long life cycle. Now these eggs are really cool because they are cylinder shaped. Someone compared them to a bottle with a white cork top and I think that's a great description. The eggs will actually overwinter, which we've talked about, but just to reiterate, overwintering means they will go throughout the winter in their egg, and then in spring they will hatch. So these guys hatch in the spring, and a single female can lay between 40 and 200 eggs. That's a pretty big range. That depends on what's going on in her life cycle and what resources are available. Now, once they hatch, they're not full-blown adults yet. They actually look in like this nymph stage, which is where this orange bug is. So this orange creature is a nymph of an assassin bug. And as you've seen in the pictures that we've already gone through, you know that these guys molt, they change color, they go from this really bright orange, they almost look like a spider here, to that really deep gray and brown. And this cycle will repeat itself. So once the nymphs grow up, they mate, they have eggs, and it just keeps going. It's the circle of life. Now, what is their relationship with humans, you may be wondering? Well, these guys are actually pretty beneficial. I've had a lot of people message me, Carly, what is this weird bug outside my window? Should I kill it? Usually I say no. These guys, they prey on pest bugs. So they prey on stink bugs. They prey on Japanese beetles, which are really hard on gardens, which is why they're so beneficial to organic gardeners. This is a great way to eliminate some pests without any pesticides. Now, these guys are also usually pretty chill. As you can see, someone is handling it in this picture. I've handled them. However, would I recommend this? No. Like we've said, these guys have sharp proboscises meant to break through exoskeletons, which means they can also break through your skin. Um, I couldn't find any pictures of an assassin bug's bite, 
but I have read a description about it. It usually is pretty painful. It's akin to getting stung by a wasp or bee, and nobody wants that. So please keep your hands away from our crafty little critters here. And we would love to hear if you have seen wheel bugs in your neighborhood, where you have seen them. Please make sure to drop a comment in the comment section below. Also, if you would like to email me your pictures of the assassin bugs you find, that would be really cool. And we could post them on our social media. Have a great day, y'all, and stay awesome.